good evening everybody and welcome to the video this video i'll be talking and essentially showing you a very interesting code that how to essentially combine small json file into a large parquet file with a snappy compression well first of all let's understand the use case on why we want to do something like this so i'm gonna come here to my aws account and i'll show you the data folder in a second so i have a lot of files on s3 as you can see more than 17 objects right um, the goal is to have one f big file right so athena can run on that right so there might be thousand two thousand uh, millions of files i don't care so we got we want to write a simple spark code that can compress a small file into a large file so if you sh if i show you you know um, in one file you see a single json record right so that's sort of the ask so let's get started with the video so I'll open up my snippets. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to define imports. So I'm importing uh, essentially glue context job and you know spark context, right? So that's that. Then what I need to do is I need to create um, a, a, a class that will essentially, you know, create a spark uh, instance or a glue context, right? So this class right here, uh, hopefully you guys can see. So I wrote a simple class called initialize glue inherits from object args i'm creating a spark context here glue context here spark job and job dot init so i'm initi I'm, I'm starting all of that here right now what i'll do is i'll create a class called glue transformation that will inherit from uh, initialize glue right these are the basic settings so it's gonna initialize here and then uh, essentially we'll override the base class constructor here so this class essentially if you see takes following attribute group size and i'll cover that in a second format what is the you know input format here i'm reading json input location the s3 path right compression the output is you know snappy compression output format is parquet output location simple very generalized um, class right so i'm gonna do that so now once i've done that then I will invoke the base class constructor here. So as you can see, I'm using an inheritance approach. Now I'm invoking the base class constructor and then I'll initialize all my parameters here. So starting with all of these, right? So now, as you can see, my constructor is pretty well defined, right? So now I'll start writing my methods. So to be honest, I just need two methods here, um, reading from S3 and compressing it into larger files, right? So I'll uh, create a run method here shortly. And then I'll create a two methods here. So one will be step one. So this is essentially going to read from the data source, right? And the second method will be, um, as I said, right, as, which will take a data frame object and all it will do, it will write it to the S3 location, right? So as you can see here, uh, I wrote two methods here. Right now it is empty. I, I don't have anything here, right? So in the first one, what I need to do is essentially I'll write a piece of code, right? I've already, you know, done it. So I'm just gonna explain you what, what the code is doing. So here I'm creating self.glue context.create dynamic frame option. I'm creating a dynamic frame. I'm reading from S3 connection options. Uh, so this is gonna come from the constructor, the input uh, location. Recursive true means, you know, iterate over all the subdirectories. Group files and group size. I'll read that from my slides here that I have for you. So hopefully you guys can still see my screen. Uh, group files, set group files into partition to enable the grouping of files within Amazon S3 data partition. So essentially to group a lot of files together, right? You could use uh, the group file option. Then group size essentially defines how much size do you want, right? If you don't select, uh, if you don't provide the size, then it's gonna use all the CPU cores and it might lead to fail. It might lead to, you know, sometimes your jobs are failing because of, you know, memory spikes and stuff like that. So um, I, I did set that up, right? Uh, format JSON because I have a bunch of single JSON files, right? So this is what this uh, particular method is doing. Now coming back to the next method right here that I'm about to show you is very, very easy. So this method right here, uh, let me come back. So this method right here takes a data frame object. Connection type is S3 because we are writing to S3 connection options, right? So as you can see, this is the output where I want to dump my data, right? Uh, format, of course, Parquet, right? Transformation, just giving it a name. 
and then we have format option compression and snappy whatever you want parquet avro sorry avro orc whatever compression you want i don't remember the exact name of the compression on the top of my head but whatever you need okay so that's that then i essentially what i did is i i'm calling uh, both the uh, methods in the run function so remember my run is the main main method or is the method that my client is going to be exposed to right these are the private methods right so I, I i add double underscore in front of that so i essentially create a data frame object i pass the data frame object then i commit the job so very easy right and then at the end i have underscore name underscore main so here i'm uh, as you can see i'm reading from my data folder and then i'm uh, dumping everything in the output folder of course if you want you can uh, tweak the output format and compression to whatever you want right so i made it pretty generalized right so now coming back to the console right so i'm gonna come to here i already have a file i'll try to delete that uh, let me see so i'll come to the bucket so i'll come to this one i have a file already because i already run the job i'll show you how to do that if you do not know don't worry so delete so now uh, i'm assuming people are coming here for the first time for the glue console if if not that's great if you know uh, that's great as well right so uh, i'm i'm my audience is essentially uh, new people that are watching here so uh, test and so so i'm going to put test job i'm going to select an iam role type as spark here i'll select 3.1 uh, sorry, I want to select yeah glue version three. Okay, uh, here I'll say an existing script that you provide or a new script authored by you. I'm gonna say uh, you you could I'm gonna say a new script that's authored by me. Uh, that's gonna be my script name. I'll leave everything to default and then come here. Okay, so very easy. Uh, we wrote a simple class that's gonna do the job for us. Uh, now I just need to uh, a new script authored by you an existing existing script that you provide so i want to provide a script right not sure why is this complaining about scala because i'm using spark so let me just make sure i select the right one this one yeah now i think it's fine because i think a new script scala class name not sure why is it asking me for scala class name uh, let's see or it's fine we can ask glue to propose the script uh, not a problem um when i did that i uh, Oh, sorry, sorry. I selected the Scala version. That 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 makes sense. I was like, ah, okay. So now I selected that. Then I, and I say new script uh, to be authored by me, right? And then we'll click on next. Okay. So we'll save the job. And then here you have your work 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 pad where you're gonna copy the code, right? So now I'm gonna copy everything, dump here, save the job. And I do not have any folder inside this, right? So currently I do not have anything. Uh, once it's done, I can run a job. Simple. Uh, I can come to job legacy. This is my job. Uh, after two or three minutes, the job should uh, should be complete. And uh, once the job is complete, then I can you know run my crawler and I can crawl my data. So I'll quickly create one for you just to show you how easy things are. So now I'll select my S3 location. That is gonna be compressed. Select next no uh here we'll select an im role we'll do on demand uh, i don't have a database so learn db create one quickly it takes a second or two everything looks good finish and then i'll run the crawler remember my spark job is not done yet so un until this job goes through then only you know i'll run my glue crawler but assuming that should be done in a second or two should be done in a second or two now i'm gonna head over to athena where i'll uh, show you that table that has been uh, you know so essentially we put the we converted a lot of single files to one big parquet file right uh, right now i don't see anything so let's wait for this uh, script to complete ideally it takes about two minutes i just have 17 records this is just for demo purposes right uh, make sure you tag everything well because glue is a paid service it's not free okay so you will get charged if you um, <laughs> if you start running like a, D a G g2x worker and like 30 40 dpus 
So be careful, okay? So when you're running stuff. So I'm, I'm still waiting. It takes about a minute or two at this point. I, I use 10 workers here. You could use one, two, depending upon whatever you want, right? So coming back to the compress folder, I still, oh, now I see that. Now what I can do again is I can come here. I can, uh, this crawler is already started or did it complete? So I think it's uh, it's in a starting phase. So I just have to wait at this point. Uh, so let me come here to my Athena, uh, refresh everything. Uh, I do not have one because I need to rerun my crawler. So I'm gonna refresh here. Yeah, it's still in the starting phase. Uh, so let's refresh the browser. Sometimes it's a bit buggy on their UI. I have to refresh the browser. So uh, it's still in the starting phase. So uh, I'm gonna wait, right? Let's wait. So uh, by the way, so the job is complete. So we essentially uh, converted, uh, you know, single JSON file to one big parquet file, right? So we did that. Uh, yeah, succeeded, that's good. Then we just have to fire this glue crawler. And then once that runs, I could essentially query my data here. So it should be easy. So that's my catalog still in the starting stage. So yeah, I just have to wait here. I mean, there's not, not, not much we can do here because yeah, I have to wait until this Uh, that's, that's taking a while. Until then, I think I'll, I'll better create a fast job before that. So I'm gonna say, just to show you, right, that, that this works, right? So uh, we'll come here, compressed, next, next, choose role, come here, come here, run DB, next, finish. So, oh, by the way, now it's running. <laughs> So it takes a second or two, a little bit, <laughs> but uh, it's fine. So I still don't see the table yet. So I'll wait for the crawler to complete because it will say your one table added or you can't see it, then let me bring it here. So here it is zero right now. So I'm gonna, now it says one table added. So now I come back to my Athena, I refresh here and beautifully I see my crawler back here and all your data. So hope this video was useful. This is how you can convert multiple smaller files into a big file so that your Athena can, you can increase your performance on Athena speed wise and cost both. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll leave the glue script in the description section below. So if you want to check it out, check that out. If you want to modify, feel free to modify. Thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys next time.